happen. I never considered my color the issue. I considered my qualifications the issue. Well, David, you know, that that's a whole nother long conversation about white privilege and things that you have the privilege of doing that people of color don't have the privilege of. How do I have the privilege of white privilege? David, by virtue of being a white male, you have white privilege. This whole long conversation, I don't have time to Uh, get into Ariva, I hate to break it to you, but you should have been better prepped. I'm black. Okay, then... I stand See, you to went to white privilege. This is the falsehood in this. You went immediately with an assumption. Your people, obviously, or you didn't look. You're talking to a black man. <laughs> yeah, you have to love how moronically stupid that woman is. Plus, how she just throws her own people under the bus. Does she have a, a point to be made if you were white? Uh, well, if she does have any kind of point to be made, David Webb has a point to be made. He's as black as she is, so. His point is just as valid as, as hers as far as him saying that skin color doesn't matter as far as hiring practices go. Plus, that the it's not about, no, there, there's no point to be made. The thing is with the whole white privilege thing, it's just a card to pull to try and win arguments. It's it's a way to try to try to discredit your uh, your opponent. Kind of like if I'm if I'm arguing with a black person and I say, oh, you don't you don't you don't you don't have to listen to this person. They're just an affirmative action policy, making some type of reference that they didn't earn their position, that they were given special treatment. Well, I don't know anything about that black person. I don't know whether they worked hard or whether they're smart or not. That would be just me trying to discredit that person's argument by discrediting them and their their credentials so yeah i i, I think uh I, I don't there's no uh there's no argument here or no debate do there. you think though that we live in a, a system that favors some people well put it this way i i don't believe that we live in an asian supremacist culture i i say that because asian people are the most uh, successful people in the united states they get higher education levels higher income levels they get arrested less i believe that's because we uh we live in a in an action supremacist culture and asian people have better actions so no i don't think we live in a system that uh, benefits one group of people or another otherwise it would be white people who are the most successful but we're not even second after asians are jewish people why do you uh, why do you think the left does the whole uh, identity politics thing i i don't know i guess uh it probably helps them get votes i mean you know it helps them get votes and people just would rather hear that nothing is their fault uh, you know they're just the poor poor victim at the hands of the system or something like that President Trump writing Nancy Pelosi a pointed letter taking away the government plane she was going to use for her trip after she asked him to delay his State of the Union speech until after the government shutdown has ended. And Nancy Pelosi was already on her way to the airport when this story, but now the president's saying that if Nancy Pelosi wants to go to that war zone in Afghanistan, she cannot have a military plane. She should fly commercial. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm going to read this article. Uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi pressed her case on Thursday for postponing the pres- uh, President Trump's State of the Union address. The prolonged uh, partial because of the prolonged go- partial government shutdown, citing security issues, people not getting paid and stuff. Uh, the date of the State of the Union is not a special date, she said. Uh, it's not uh, constitutionally required. It's not the president's birth- birthday. Early on Thursday, she received President Trump's uh, response. Uh, it w- had said nothing about the address, just said that uh, he was postponing one of their uh, their flights overseas with uh, her and congressional delegates flying on military aircraft. <laughs> I, I think this is kind of kind of uh, childish. Well, if it is childish, it's childish both ways. But and it heck, it makes sense to me. I mean, heck, if we can't even afford uh, you know to hire a couple of Secret Service guys to watch over a, a speech, the State of the Union speech. How can we afford to fly these bigwig politicians around the the world? But the truth is, that's a bunch of bull crap. That was just a uh, Nancy Nancy Pelosi tried uh, tried trolling Trump. The only problem with that is trolling and and hitting people low. That's kind of Trump's game. And and uh, Nancy, I don't know if she they, uh, they had a job to do over is. there though. No, they they do not have a job to do over there. Please explain to me 
what Nancy Pelosi is going to be doing in Afghanistan. I mean, what is she, do the, do the generals and the sergeant majors who've uh, been in the military for 30 years, do they need her advice on how to run a war? I don't think so. So yeah, I don't think she had a job to do anything to do over there. Plus, he never told her, he never told anybody that, that they couldn't go. He just uh, offered, said, uh, if you want to go, you can still fly coach which I think is, is pretty much the most hilarious thing uh, Trump did in his little trolling. Plus, it's just funny to, to even imagine these politicians sitting next to the, these bigwig politicians sitting next to like us regular normies. Some people, people. are citing security <laughs> concerns that Trump released information he shouldn't have. You know, that's, that's right. It, it, it does take a lot of security to, you know, to babysit these, uh, these bigwig politicians in some war zone. Why put our guys through that when it's pretty obvious they don't have to be there? Nancy Pelosi is not going to help or hurt or anything, not going to help anything. So what's the point of them being there? What's the point of pe people, uh, military guys, putting their lives in, on, on, at risk just to help protect these people? So, yeah, keep them out of there. I, I don't see nothing wrong with what, uh, with what Trump did. Plus, I find it funnier than hell. <laughs> Well, I suppose so. Our uh, our politics are it is getting kind of crazy, pretty funny. Anyway, my name's uh, Jameson Youngson here with Jameson Young. Thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel, Self Conflicted. Thank you. Bye.